Shout out to Alabama. What up? Alabama prisoner profiles. I got to check that out. DC, the voice, Alabama prisoner profiles. What's going on with y'all today, man? Say, shout out to everybody. I appreciate everybody. Make sure y'all keep running it up. Like, share, subscribe. You know what I'm saying? Tell your friends about it. All that good stuff. Today, you know what I'm saying? I got this. I've been seeing a couple articles about this, so I want to bring it to y'all about this incident report that released from the Daryl Shaw incident, you know, I remember a couple back weeks back, the whole hostage thing at Donaldson with the gun and the realest nigga on the planet and the sergeant's vest and the alleged escape attempt, you know what I'm saying? And this incident report that has leaked is a total contradiction from the department's initial explanation of this incident. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna go through it here. All right, now for reference, I don't know where this came from at all, but I did see the article, as you can see, I guess a female leaked this. You can see it looks like a blue fingernail on the left over there. So, you know, worry about that. Hopefully she changed her fingernails, but here we go. So I guess he received this when he got the Kilby Correctional Facility. You can see it's got his AIS number, the incident report number. The statute says the above inmate is charged by Eads T with violation of the following rules. 936, violation of state or federal statutes from administrative regulation number 403, which occurred on or about August 13, 2023, 4.35 a.m. at the shift office. And that's it. they're saying this started at the shift office at Donaldson. A hearing on this charge will be held after 24 hours from being served. Circumstances of the violations are as follows. On August 13, 2023, at approximately 3.32 a.m., you, inmate Daryl Shaw, were armed with a black semi-automatic firearm after having taken Sergeant Trenton Eads hostage. You then facilitated the taking of several staff hostages and then attempted an escape from William E. Donaldson Correctional Facility using a staff uniform, all while armed with the semi-automatic firearm, which you are prohibited from possessing. Then it's got the date, the sergeant, you know what I'm saying, the date that is certified on the 25th of August. So this came out, so like, y'all remember when this first dropped, I remember on the news, you know what I'm saying? They're like, yeah, they're, they're, there's the department was like, there's no hostage situation. This is a, we had a security incident. There's no hostage, but as you can see, clear as day, you know what I'm saying? On this man's write up, it says he took the sergeant hostage and several staff with the black semi automatic handgun. Don't say shit about how he got the handgun, you know what I'm saying? Maybe they'll figure that out in the investigation, because this write up then came, what? 10 days at least after the incident damn near two weeks so they didn't have a little bit of they had a little bit of time but that's wild what's going on why would y'all you know what i'm saying i want to know what y'all think about this in the comments but you know it's just another example i guess of the states just stiff back just we do what the fuck we want you know what i'm saying we we refuse to give information to the federal government you know what i'm saying on some old Civil War, you you know what I'm saying? That type shit. That type vibe. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. DC The Voice, Alabama Prisoner Profile, out the gate.